couple of youngsters here, just 21 and 19. Here we go, Mr. Lamont Snipes out of Tiger's Gym. Fancies himself as a boxer, learning some kickboxing. He said he welcomes, he said he welcomes the leg kicks. He said he knows that it's not his strong suit, but he said that he's been getting his legs tore up and that he knows that he's ready to take any kind of kick that Hunter's gonna throw at him. Or Harrison, sorry. McCormick brothers got me all tongue tied. There's there's three of them. Everybody who's listening now needs to remember the McCormick's names. They're they all, all start with H's, right? All 13 all siblings. All 13 siblings. Really excited to watch this Lamont Snipes. Really good athlete out of Ferguson, Missouri. Weighed in at 130, 136 pounds, just 21 years old. He said he's been training uh, with Jeremiah Hodges, Carter Rusto, his favorite fighter, Nasty Nate Diaz, James Tony, Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia, amazing boxer. Very amazing boxer. He said he's a state chess champion, so this man's smart as well. Very analytical. I like to see that. But what yes. is boxing but chess? Right. 14th place in cross country and uh, 14th place in, the, in cross country senior year in high school, so he's going to have cardio too. He said, uh, why choose kickboxing? He's starting to come over from boxing. So eventually MMA is the goal for this young man. What can you tell me about Harrison as he walks out here? Oh man, Harrison McCormick is fighting out of St. Charles Mixed Martial Arts uh, by way of Baldwin, Missouri. As I said earlier this evening, Harrison is 0-1 in MMA. This is his K-1 debut. Um, but, but the kid is the kid is game 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 ready, man. He weighed yeah. in at 135 pounds yesterday, which is coming up a lot of weight for him. He's usually a pretty smaller guy, um, especially for, for the fresh age of 19. Um, his main training partner is this camp are both of his brothers Holden McCormick and Hunter McCormick and uh, as again Josh Augustine fighting the main event tonight you're gonna see a lot of uh, his style emulated in these young McCormick boys. I mean if you just look at the corner you have uh, UFC veteran Joshua Sampo in the corner of this young man. Anytime you look over and you see a former UFC fighter you know that the guy standing across from you is legit so I wonder if that plays into the mentality of all of Lamont but he's so young you might not even know that Josh Sampo was in the Right, UFC. right. He might have been in fourth grade when Sampo is right. fighting. That's a young spry pup out there. Right. But, Some uh, young men. This crowd is going crazy right now. Five straight crowds. I mean, five straight events now. We've had a packed house here at the Castle on the Ballroom. Harrison McCormick versus Lamont Snipes. So excited for this fight. Absolutely. Now we now the cage door has closed and we are about to go to war. Yeah, we're about to see if the boxing experience of uh, Snipes plays in a factor here, or if uh, Harrison, who's a really well-rounded young man, can uh, mix it up enough to to deter the boxing of Snipes. Well, Harrison Harrison's got a decent little boxing background himself, taking five fights over the last year. So we should uh, we should definitely see a great battle here. Harrison McCormick coming out in the southpaw stance. Really working that beautiful left leg, left uh, body kick off that jam. Ooh, nice return. Nice return by both fighters there. Yeah, both these young men really technical. That's what I'm talking about, this next level of young men coming up. Absolutely. Look, look at the, the range distance being controlled here right now. Oh, Harrison drops him with a, hurts him with a body kick, but he's still standing. He is targeting that liver. I love Ooh, it. Nice spinning back kick. Barely misses here. Returns with the left high kick. Lamont talking to him the whole time. Harrison not shaking, not shaking. These boys are in here ready for war. Yeah, Lamont was a little hurt by that body kick. Looks like he's recovered now. Ooh. He's trying to get that back and go to nice. the body himself. Little dirty clinch right here. Harrison returns. The referee's going to step in and break him up. Yeah, with the K-1 rules, you're allowed one knee in the... In the clinch and then the oh, 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 trying to get his bearings back. Oh, 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 oh
by McCormick to get the clinch here. Very nice, very nice, boys. Good exchange. Looks like you need him in the groin there. All right, all right. Referee's calling a stop in the action here. I think we're gonna get back right to it. Referees just sent him to respective corners. I think the refs just telling him he's got to keep those kicks up or he's going to take another There's a knee, it. yeah, he got in the clinch and he actually need him to flip. You can see the cup lift. Oof. Not good, not good, especially when they slide out the bottom and the cup snaps right back on. Yeah, not a fun time. Not a fun time. That's right, knees build character, as the great Quentin O'Brien says. For sure. Woo, these guys put on a fun fight right here. These boys are in here throwing with everything. Snipes might be uh, finding that he has an advantage and the clinch might be a little stronger, a little yeah, bigger there. De definitely a little bigger. I, I would imagine he had to cut some weight to get down to uh, the 135 mark. But uh, yeah, man, these, these boys are in here ready to throw. Great technical scrap out of these two young men. Just 10 seconds left in this round. Very close round to score. Yeah, I don't know, how, I don't know who I would give it to. I think maybe Harrison off of uh, maybe maybe a little bit more value. Yeah, and he, and he did hurt him with that body shot, but he uh, Lamont also had Harrison. In the there. I'd hate to be a judge for this. Person. Absolutely, that's that we got to give it up for the judges too. You know, that's got to be it's one of the toughest jobs in in all professional sports. Oh yeah, I mean the angle. If you've ever sat truly cage side before, for those of you watching at home, the cage in the corners kind of block your view, and people walking around beside you and other officials. So. You could, you could see the fight from a completely different angle from a judge on the other side of the cage. So judging, it's not like at home where you can see the nice clear vision of the monitor where you can see everything. It's a, it's a tough job in that first round. I would hate to be a judge because from our thousand foot view up here where we can see everything. I don't know how to score it. I don't know how to score that round, man. It's just too dang close. Here we go, round two. So excited for this action that we've seen so far. Here we go, round two. Uh, touch gloves at the beginning of round two. Lamont coming out with the pressure. Throwing a few wild shots, connects there with a nice straight left. Lamont doing a really good job of finding a range. Oh, 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 oh. That's just a big one. Caught that left hook clean. Harrison doing a great job of returning off that same side. Yeah, he's starting to give away his two, and Harrison's starting to counter with his own left. Yeah, it seems like that southpaw stance is finally starting to give him a little bit of trouble. Yeah, he's stepping around the outside there. Beautiful work, beautiful footwork. Just missed Big it. wild swing there. Yeah, he tried to create that little angle, but just missed the chin. Mm -hmm. That's right, both fighters look very good. Nice one, too, by Harrison McCormick. This is a fight we have on our hands, Ooh. Justin. Settle in the middle. Lamont starting to slow down a little bit here. There, yeah, Harrison, I think Harrison feels it. You can see him just stalking him now. And he sees that the, that the other man's starting to get a little tired. He's starting to pour on his own pressure. And this is this is where Harrison thrives. If he knows he can break you, he's gonna break you. Definitely steps in to break up the clinch. Harrison and Harrison McCormick can control of this round so far. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, big right hand and that one kind of wobbled him good. Yeah, good that was right on the back. jaw. Both these guys showing outstanding chin. Absolutely. Both these guys have landed some clean, clean shots on each other right on the tip of the chin. Yeah. Those might be big gloves, but those still don't feel good when they hit you. No. Yeah, with a nice teep. Ooh, nice knee to the body there by Harrison McCormick. Yeah, Lamont looks like he's pretty tired right yeah. now. Yeah, oh, he's, now he's just resorted to winging bombs. Let's see if we can't uh, make it through the third round. Oh, kind of seems like he's playing a little possum there. Did you see that little DS, yeah. spring, I mean, a little penny spring off the cage? Love it. Beautiful round for Harrison McCormick. I Absolutely. believe he controlled that round. Still, there's a great fight. Both those guys landing some clean shots on each other. Absolutely. It could be it could be one one right now. It could, could be, be one, one one. I, if I was in the corner of either one of these guys, I would be telling them we have got to have this third round Absolutely. because it is too close of a fight right now. And you know, you, you hear it a bazillion times. You never want to leave it in the judges' hands, but no, especially not in a K one cage K one bout here. 
be judges. I mean, they sport everything, but they're used to seeing MMA all night, and this one's just a K1. That's tricky for anyone. There's no dig on the judges. That's just the reality of judging sports. When you switch over from MMA, it's scored a little bit differently than K1. It, it's a it's a thankless job. It really it's is. It's a thankless job. You do your you do your job right. Everybody expects you to do it. You mess up, the entire world's gonna crucify you for it. That's that's 100% the truth. Here we go, round three of an outstanding fight so far. Best fight of the night, in yeah. my opinion. Okay, first fight first fight to leave the first round, and right. uh, definitely in contention for fight of the night. Here we go, round three. Maybe a 1-1 one -one fight. Who wants it more? That's what this one's gonna come down to. Absolutely. Both Come on, going straight to the clinch. Harrison kind of chasing there, getting a little nice wild. Nice jab out of McCormick. Ooh, nice step off in return. He's really starting to put together his punches and combination now. Yeah, he's really starting to put together traditional combos instead of just looking for the opening. He's just letting the combos go, and he's finding that they're landing. It's beautiful to watch. Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect technique coming through. Lamont looks exhausted, or maybe he's trying to rope it up against the, the ring again, but I think uh, he's actually oh. tired. If he's not tired that right, definitely hurt him. Oh, oh this could be it. He's out on, he might be out on his feet here, Drew. McCormick digging in the body. Good, wise decision out of Lamont to clinch. I think we might see the referee stop in if, if, give if him a, he could step in and give him an eight count. Oh, beautiful head kick. Nice knee. Oh my gosh, Harrison McCormick nice turn it in. This could it, be it. And I think that's is it. Is he gonna wave it off or is he gonna give him an eight off. count? That's it, baby, ladies I don't and gentlemen. Know. That's it. That's the end that of the fight. The end beautiful of the fight. Harrison McCormick. Job by Harrison McCormick. Oh baby, what a way to finish. Wow. In a in a fight that was possibly one to one. For that young man to go out there and push hard enough to get the finish in the third round, this is why this kid is the future of the division in St. Louis at 125, 135. Wherever him and his brothers, this kid, uh, this kid is impressive. I mean, uh, if you go back to his uh, debut, he fought a BJJ purple belt, lost a split decision in yeah. his first ever fight. Absolutely, a, guy week, was, a week after turning 18, fought right. a 35-year-old purple belt. You know, yeah. You, you go to fight a grown man as a boy. You think you got all the confidence in the world and your skills, but you know, you hear it all the time. There's there's levels to this. There's levels to this. Both these men put on an outstanding fight. It looks like the the biggest factor in this fight, cardio. It was Absolutely. a pretty even fight. The first couple uh, first couple rounds, the the shift happened, and midway through the second round, Harrison started taking over and just carried that momentum into the third round and gets the finish. We're going to send it down to Mike Kendall to give us our winner. There we have it, Harrison McCormick, one of the 13 McCormick brothers. Goes out there, joins his brother in the winner's circle tonight. The McCormick brothers are going to have a good night. There's there's the Diaz brothers, there's the Miller brothers. Next, there's going to be the McCormick brothers, and Get I can ready. promise you guys that. Out of St. Louis, Missouri, don't forget these guys' names. Top prospects. <laughs>